today i am going to start a new chapter that is the forward block and the ina children though this chapter is small and uh, as per uh, prescribed by council and the reduced syllabus the content is also very less but still it is important because frequently the questions are framed on those particular topics every now and then so listen carefully okay subhash chandra bose i hope all of us must have heard his name in our indian history yes so he was one of the greatest freedom fighter of india the non cooperation movement of mahatma gandhi attracted subhash chandra bose and he became an active member of the freedom movement he was unanimously unanimously means without any opposition elected as the president of the congress at the haripura session in 1938 okay so though we say that uh, subhash chandra bose was inspired by the movement which was led by gandhi ji but later on when he got the presidency and later on in i indian national congress when he started working then uh, there was a rift a gap was created between subhash chandra bose and mahatma gandhi so there was a rift with gandhi ji of subhash chandra bose yes so the policy of large scale industrialization was favored by bose on the other hand gandhi ji favored the idea of small scale industries so as we know gandhi ji has always promoted cottage industries or small scale industries on the other hand subhash chandra bose wanted that we uh, indians should promote more of the large scale industries because that will become bring more economy and uh, opportunity uh, for of development in our country so that was the ideology of subhash chandra bose and many more concepts were there on which there was the contradiction between gandhi ji and subhash chandra bose so now the next topic is uh, the formation of forward block okay so forward block was a political party which was formed by subhash chandra bose after the rift between gandhi ji and uh, subhash chandra bose uh, subhash chandra bose resigned uh, from indian national congress from the presidency of indian national congress and he decided to make uh, his own political party all right so on account of his difference with mahatma gandhi and the congress working committee bose founded the forward block in the year underline and it's important 1939 okay now what were the objectives of the forward block children very very important uh, please study and learn it nicely okay so the immediate objective sometimes the question is asked uh, uh, what is what was the objective of forward block or what was the immediate objective of forward block so two types of questions could be framed from this part all right so the immediate objective of the forward block was liberation of india with the support of workers peasants youth and other organization so if the question is asked what was the immediate objective a forward block so you'll mention it over there that the liberation of india with the help of various people right so after attaining independence what was the objective of forward block that they will work for the establishment of a socialist state through how they will do it through reorganization of agriculture and industry on socialist line so they will again organize the agriculture and industry on the basis of the socialist lines okay then the abolishment of the zamindari system and introduction of a new monetary and credit system monetary is money related okay so new monetary and credit system so so that was the objective of forward block now ina INA as i have told it was a military organization so once i remember the question was asked children state the political organization uh, state the political party and military organization formed by subhash chandra bose so answer will be political party forward block and military organization would be INA okay so INA means the indian national army okay which is also known as azad hind fauj it was an armed force formed by indian nationalists through the patronage of imperial 
Japanese army to secure the independence of India. So basically, INA was formed with the help of the Japanese army. Now you must be wondering why uh, Japanese army was supporting India for its independence liberation. Yes, if you remember in last chapter, I have told you children that uh, uh, Britishers were an uh, Britishers were anti of Japan or Jap Japanese were against of Britishers, and here in India the rule of Britishers were there. So therefore. Uh, Jap Japan was supporting India for its liberation. Okay, so the army was first formed in 1942 under Mohan Singh. Okay, now uh, I, I may tell you the two ways or two times the army was formed, or rather I would say it was formed by Mohan Singh and it was later led by Subhash Chandra Bose. Okay. So the army was first formed in 1942 under Mohan Singh by Indian POWs. Now, what is POWs? That is the prisoner of wars. Okay, of the British India Army. Now, all the uh, Indians those who were there in the British India Army, they they were the prisoners of war captured by Japan. So Japan uh, uh, during the war, whichever Indians were captured, so. If, with those indians only uh, army was created uh, uh, people uh, fought for the uh, liberation these people fought for the liberation of our country okay japan in malaya campaign and at singapore so japan led a war against britain in malaya and singapore and the people those who were captured over there indians those who were the prisoners of war they organized themselves into an army and that army is known as indian national army which was led by mohan singh the first ina collapsed and was disbanded in december that year after differences between ina leadership and japanese military over its role in japan war in asia Raj Bihari Bose handed over INA to Subhash Chandra Bose. Okay, so previously Mohan Singh was leading INA, and later on Subhash Chandra Bose started leading INA. Okay, now what were the objectives? Again, important to organize an armed revolution and fighting the British Army of Occupation with modern arms. Then, since it was not possible for the Indians to organize an armed revolution. from the homeland so it was very difficult for the indians to organize an armed revolution a arm uh, uh, struggle from our own country because britishers were uh, uh, we were in slave of the britishers and they were trying to suppress us so therefore this responsibility must be shouldered by the indians living abroad so as indians cannot are unable to liberate themselves from the britishers so therefore indians those who are living abroad should support the indians those who are living in india right so particularly those residing in east asia organizing a provincial government of free india in order to mobilize all the forces effectively all these were the objectives then total mobilization of indian manpower and ma money for a total war so to again utilize the indian manpower and money for a war right the motto of ina was unity faith sacrifice so all this is very important children now the contribution of subhash chandra bose in our freedom struggle yes so bose led the freedom struggle outside india as the supreme commander of the ina he set up the provincial government of free india in singapore he also declared war on britain and the usa and acquired its first stretch of territory in india when japan handed over andaman and nicobar islands he gave a call to his soldiers give me blood and i shall give you freedom So, children, this is again important. This is the slogan which was given by Subhash Chandra Bose. Then he coined the term "Jai Hind" and gave slogan "Delhi Chalo." Then uh, Bose joined the Indian National Congress. Uh, he also started a newspaper called Swaraj. Okay, this was before uh, 
forward bloc and ina right he was uh, the president of all india youth congress and also the secretary of bengal state congress bose authored the book the indian struggle which covers the indian independence movement from 1920 to 1942 the book was banned by the british government later on okay so this was the political contribution or rather i would say contribution of subhash chandra bose in our freedom struggle here you can also add uh, if the question is not formed from forward block and ina then you can add a point over here also in contribution that he has formed uh, forward block as well as he has led ina okay so that point can also be incorporated in this thank you children that was the all for this particular chapter thank you